Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to make creative comparison slides in PowerPoint. The beautiful comparison graphic you will learn to create today looks like this. <laughs> awesome looking one, isn't it? I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful looking graphic from scratch. And then I will show you some interesting alternatives to show comparisons from our 700 essential charts pack from allpptemplates.com. First, let us learn how to create this graphic from scratch. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu and pick up the oval tool from basic shape. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a circle like this. Then I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu once again. Under basic shapes, I'm going to pick up this one called as circle hollow. And then I'm going to hold the shift button once again and I'm going to draw a big hollow circle right around the earlier circle. Now I'm going to click this yellow handle and then move this to the side so that the width of the rim is reduced. Then I'm going to select both these shapes, go to arrange, align and say align center. Then arrange, align and say align middle so that the earlier circle is exactly in the middle and center of the outer circle. Now with this done, it is time to divide these two into two equal halves. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the rectangle tool and we are going to draw a rectangle that runs exactly across the center point of the earlier circle. Now how do we decide which one is the center point? It's very simple. You go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up a line tool and then hold the shift button down as you draw a straight line and then give it a different color so that it is easy to uh, visibly see the line. And then you select the line and then the rest of the shapes. Go to Arrange, Align and say Align Center. And now you know that this is the exact center point or the center line. Now make sure that this rectangle aligns with that line. And now you have a simple way to divide these two shapes into equal halves. So first let us remove this line that we drew earlier. And now let us select all the shapes while holding the Shift button. Then go to Format tab, then go to Merge Shapes and then choose the option called Fragment. So that is what we are going to use here, Fragment option. And then I am going to select this shape, Delete. And now I am going to give a different color to these outer rims and the inner ones. So I am going to first select these elements and then I am going to first merge them together. Go to Merge Shapes and say Union so that this one remains as a proper circle. And let us give this maybe somewhere around yeah, this color, slight gray color. And then let us take this one, the inner rim, and then let us go to Shape Fill and then give it a lighter color, maybe something like this. And then go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. And for the outer rim, give a darker hue of the same color. Maybe something like this or this. And then same way, shape outline, no outline. Now let us go to the left side. So select this, go to a light green color and no outline. And then outer rim, select a darker hue and no outline. And now we have a beautiful looking graphic readily available in place. And now I'm going to select this and remove the outline. Now it's time to label each of these shapes. I'm going to choose only three labels here. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, let us pick up the tool that we used earlier called Circle Hollow. I'm going to select that, hold the Shift button down as I draw a small little shape like this and then give it a white color with no outline. Maybe we can keep this somewhere here because we are not going to use too many labels. And then we are going to draw a line that extends from this all the way to the label. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the line tool and then hold the shift button down as you draw a straight line. And this is going to be the holding line for our label. So let us go to Shape Outline and give it maybe a slight gray color like this and even increase the weight like this. And then let us write some text, maybe um, say something like sample text. You can of course replace this with any text of your choice and let us increase the size to say 20 
and that looks beautiful. Now I'm going to select all these and press Ctrl G and now we have a simple label available. I can make copies of this while holding the Ctrl button down and I'm going to move this to the new location and I'm going to do the same for the third label as well. As I mentioned earlier, I'm only going to use three labels on each side. Once this is done, I'm going to select all these three labels, press Ctrl G to group them, press Ctrl D to duplicate, and then go to Arrange, Rotate and say Flip Horizontal, and then move this copy to the other side. Now we have this beautiful comparison graphic ready. And finally, we can add this text here to label the center part. And this graphic is quite handy. You can talk about one idea and then two sets of opposing factors, or you can talk about one issue and then two ways of looking at it, or you can talk about one point and evaluate the pros and cons for the same. Now talking about pros and cons, there are so many different ways you can express pros and cons using some interesting graphics. I'm going to show you some example templates taken from our 700 essential PowerPoint charts pack available in allpptemplates.com. All PPT Templates is a sister site of presentationprocess.com and there are quite a few interesting templates packs available in this site. One of the popular ones is 700 Essential PowerPoint Charts Pack. As you can see here, we have a lot of customers from across the world and this product has been quite popular for a long time. This product has a lot of very interesting sections like agenda, awards, bullet lists, callouts, common text, etc. And they're quite useful for any common business presentation. Let me show you some example templates of pros and cons taken from our 700 essential charts pack. The first example is this one where you can see the puzzle style positives and negatives. A variation of this is this one where the negatives and positives reinforce each other. And this one shows the two sides of a particular idea. And this one shows different sets of negatives and positives that are around a certain idea. And this one talks about the two sides of an issue. As you can see here, this is a different way in which we can represent the same idea that I showed you earlier in drawing our graphic. And this one is another way in which you can talk about the reinforcement of the negatives and positives. And if you want a very simple representation, you can use something like this, where you can list down the negatives and the positives. And this can be a group of negatives and positives. So as you can see, there are different ways in which you can represent the idea of comparisons, pros and cons, for and against, etc. And all of these options are available in our 700 essential charts pack in allpptemplates.com. I will leave a link to this pack in the description box below this video. You can always click on the link and explore more about this useful pack. And as a thank you for watching this video this far, I am happy to invite you to our popular five-day email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. This is such a popular course that there are more than 140 Facebook comments on the first day's lesson itself. You can join this free email course by clicking on the link here. So please click on the link, join the course, and I will see you inside. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.